today we will solve a problem 7.10 of Griffith fourth edition introduction to electrodynamics the problem is uh, a square loop of side a is mounted on a vertical shaft and rotated at an angular velocity omega as shown in this figure a uniform magnetic field p point to the right that is a, we are applying a uniform magnetic field towards the right side so find the induced induced em of e of t for this alternating current uh, alternating current generator so this is the figure uh, is, uh, we have a square loop which is rotating at an angular velocity omega and each side of this loop is a and we have naturally the magnetic field we have to find the uh, induced em up to find the induced em up we know the uh, we know this uh, magnetic flux magnetic flux phi phi uh, sorry magnetic flux phi pi by definition is equal to uh, pi is equal to p dot t a pi is equal to p dot a uh, so uh, p dot a is equal to uh, dot product is equal to p a cos theta we know it is p a cos theta uh, we know theta is equal to omega t in our case so we can write the magnetic flux is equal to uh, p a cos omega t where a is equal to area is equal to for this square loop is a small a squared uh, cos squared uh, sorry cos omega t now fight uh, flux rule uh, you know that induced emf which is a function of time is equal to uh, the my negative minus uh, t pi pi dt here uh, p and a squared are constant so only the, the time dependent term is cos omega t if we differentiate cos omega t you will get minus sin omega t so uh, induced em up is equal to already there is one minus uh, then uh, that minus and p a squared and cos omega t if you differentiate you will get sine omega t of course with respect to t it is omega you will get so here you have negative minus 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 of minus will become plus uh, so naturally this e of t is equal to uh, e which is a function of t induced em of as a function of t is equal to p a squared and you bring this one bring this omega in front so you will get omega multiplied by a sorry multiplied by sine omega t multiplied by a sine omega t this is the induced em of uh, this is a maximum amplitude P A squared omega is maximum amplitude because all are constant and the time dependent comes from the sine omega t. Uh, so this is the final answer. Thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.